Hello children, now you feel like a student now? Because you all are regularly watching and learning the all subject videos. Children, are you draw the all diagrams of living and non-living thing of lesson number one in your classwork? If you don't draw the diagrams, so my dear children, please draw the diagrams in your science classwork. Now let us start the exercise and extra question answers of lesson number one. First, I read the ex exercise question answers and then you fill up your test book. Those students don't have the test book, you write in your classwork and remaining also write in your classwork. When you got your test book, you fill up your test book. Now children, I will start the reading. The first question, it is a new words. First one, natural. Second, exist. Third one, convenience. So, convenience means what? A useful or helpful thing. Next one is the man-made. Fifth one, breathe. Breathe means what? Intake and outgo of air through our breathing organ. Sixth one, tiny. Tiny means very small. Seventh one, stomata is the breathing organ of plant. Eighth one, lungs. It is also breathing organ, but it is a breathing organ of animals and human beings. Now the ninth one, gills. It is a breathing organ of fish. Tenth one, vegan. Eleventh one, blooming. Blooming means opening of petals. Twelfth one, sense. Thirteenth one, companionship means a person who breaks breeds with other now the next one is the thefts so it is mean the action or crime of stealing now the next is the adequate adequate means what satisfactory and the 16th one procreation means generate or reproduction now the 17th one life cycle life cycle means the time from birth to Death. It is a life cycle. Next one, sapling means a small plant. Now the next one, words meaning. The first one is the natural, obtained from nature. Second one, photosynthesis, the process by which green plants use sunlight and to form nutrient means the process where the plants prepare their food. Now the third one. Vegan. Vegan means what? A person who does not eat or use any animal products means a vegetarian. Now the fourth one, sense. A feeling that something in the case. Fifth one, lifespan. The length of a time for which a person or animals lives. So children, you write the new words. And words meaning in your science classwork. Now the next one we start. You first of all fill up your test book and then write in your classwork. The first one match the columns. A fish. Fish how breathe? Through their gills. So it match with gills. Second one sapling. Sapling means a small plant. So it match with sapling small plant. Third one wooden chair. It is non-living things and fourth one reproduction it match with procreation now the second question write true or false against each statement so the first one all living things do not grow so this statement is false answer because the reason is the uh, because only living things can grow non-living things do not grow that's why the first statement is false second one plants need air to breathe this statement is true because plants are living thing so they need air to breathe third one all living things give direct birth to their young ones so children this statement is false reason is because some living things can lay eggs for example hen 
and some gives direct birth to their young ones. For example, cow. Now the fourth one, some non-living things can move from one place to another. This statement also false. Why? The reason is the because non-living things cannot move on their own. When we apply force on it, then it can move. Means when we push the chair, it can move. So the statement is false. Now the fifth one. Many non-living things can sense their surrounding. So this statement also children false because only living things can sense their surrounding. Non-living things cannot sense their surrounding. So children you write these true or false in your classwork and test book. Now the next question is the third one fill in the blanks. First one human beings breathe through their what children? Lungs. Human beings breathe through their lungs. Second one. The dash grows in the direction of sunlight. So what grows in the direction of sunlight? Sunflower. So answer is a sunflower. Third one. Non-living things cannot dash young ones of their own kind. So non-living things what? Cannot produce. So the answer is the produce. Now the fourth one, plants are the only dash things that prepare their own food. So plants are the which things children? Living. So answer is the living. Now the fourth question is the give to examples. First one, lay eggs. Children, who lay eggs? So hen and duck. Then second one, breathe through their lungs. The answer is the man, cow and animals also. Now the third one, give direct birth to their young ones, cat, dog. Now the next question we start, that is the fifth question, answer the following. First one, what are living things? Give to example. Answer is the things which have life in them are called living things. For example, animals, plants, human beings. So children, things which have life in them are called living things. Now the second question, define natural and man-made things. So first of all, first definition, natural things. Things found freely in nature are called natural things. For example, sun, mountains, plants and birds. Means sun, mountain, plants and birds. These things can exist freely in nature. So these are natural things. B1. Man-made things. Things which made by man are called man-made things. For example, table and pen. Now the third question, why must we water the plants regularly? Because plants are the living things. So plants need air and water to live. So this is the reason why plants need the water or water regularly. Now the fourth question is the List any four difference between living and non-living things. Here I give the five difference. Answer. When you write the answer children, you make two columns in your science classwork and then you write the difference. First one, living things breathe and non-living things do not breathe. Second one, living things grow Non-living things do not grow. Third one, living things reproduce. Non-living things do not reproduce. Fourth one, living things need food and water to live. And non-living things do not need food and water to live. Fifth one, living things die and non-living things do not die. Here we completed the 
test book exercise question answers and then i give some extra questions which are not in your test book so extra question first one what are non living things give to example here i give answer things which do not have life in them are called non living things for example sun table pen etc means these things do not have life in them so these are non living things second question write one example of plant to show that living things sense their surroundings are you children Re are you remember the video of touch me not plant and brahma kamal so these are the example which can shows the sense now i read the answer the touch me not plant closes its leaves when someone touches it so the it is a example which can shows the sense so here we completed the extra question answers also so you children write all these question answers in your science class work very neatly then you memorize these answers also because after one week i i will took the test on lesson number 1 that is the living and non living things so children you see and learn the video of video of question answers so children work hard for success once again i children say you memorize the all exercise and extra question answers because i took the test after one week so you children read and memorize the question answers practice the question answers in your rough book and practice the diagrams also because diagrams are very important so stay home and stay safe children good day children work hard for your success children thank you